Alright guys, welcome back once again. So today I'm here in Dortmund, right outside the main station. I have a couple of my friends who are studying here. We'll be taking us around, giving us a tour of this university, talk a bit about how's life in general in Dortmund. Let me introduce them. Alright, so I have Preet and Mitesh here with me. Before we go ahead, do you want to go ahead and give your introduction? Yes, so I'm Preet, I'm from Maharashtra. I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering. I secured around 8.6 SGPA. Then I applied to Germany as well as US and I uh, also gave a A2 exam in Goithe. And yeah, I scored 96 in TOEFL and 310 in GRE. And what was your bachelor's score? 8.6. You're studying what master's in? Master's in Manufacturing Technology. Manufacturing, okay. MMT it is. What about you? Uh, hi, uh, my name is Mitesh and I'm studying in the TU Dortmund University currently and I am enrolled with the MMT course which mm -hmm. is Master's in Manufacturing Technology. Before coming to here, I gave the ILTS exam in which I have scored 7 bands and uh, my bachelor score was 8.64 which is around 1.6 German grade. I was also preparing for GRE because our course uh, recommends that you apply for the GRE and uh, but it's not uh, recommend. It's just recommended. It's not compulsory. So yeah. at the end, I'm finally enrolled with that. And what bachelor's you did? Uh, I did in bachelor's of mechanical engineering. Right. So since how long you both are here now? One year. So One we year. came here in September yeah. 2019. Uh -huh. So we are currently in the third semester of our program. Okay. All right. So let's start our journey. We are heading through the station now. We're going to be going to the campus. Uh, what is the name of the campus? Where are we going now? It's the North Campus, so it's divided in two campuses, South Campus and North Campus. Okay. So we'll go to the main campus, which is North Campus. We boarded the train now from Dortmund Hauptbahnhof, right? Yeah. Which is the train number and where we are supposed to get off? This is Eschmann, which is called Esbahn, and uh, it is, uh, I would say, it is the easiest way to reach to the university from the Hauptbahnhof because it just takes six minutes. Six minutes. Where are we supposed to get off? Um, Station name? University at University at Dortmund. Yeah. University at Dortmund. So University at S. Yeah. So on the seventh minute, you will be directly at the cool. university. So finally, we have reached after six minutes to Dortmund University. What I've been told is there are some student dormitories around this area where this uh, station is university. If you want to go to airport, Dusseldorf airport, there's a train direct which takes you S1. S1, right? Yeah, S1. S1 which will take you directly to Dusseldorf airport. So if somebody is flying for the first time mm -hmm. to Dortmund, what is the way? What is the fastest way, convenient? Yeah, there are two ways because uh, two major airports near to uh, D D Dortmund. Mm -hmm. One is the Frankfurt Flughafen and another is Düsseldorf. Right. Düsseldorf is near, but for that you need, uh, maybe it's costly because it's not so busy yeah, uh, true. compared to Frankfurt Airport. Mm -hmm. But most of the people uh, travel to Frankfurt Airport and with IC you can travel here like in three and a half hours. Uh, did you also come from Frankfurt? Yeah, Frankfurt. You also came from, yeah, from Frankfurt. Tell me more about what is Dortmund famous for other than football? Yeah, so Dortmund is actually very old and very economical like uh, established city. So it was earlier it was a steel industry. So it is the main industry in Germany for steels and for coal industry, you know, the Ruhr region. So what happened is in 1945, these allied forces almost bombed 98% of the city. So it is one of the heavily bombed cities in the world. So around 1000 jets uh, like bombed this Dortmund city and destroyed 98% of the city. Wow. But if you can see the improvement, like they have really done in 50 years, so they have established everything again. Seriously, so that yeah, it's, like. it's amazing, yeah. Wow. And so this is also 50 years old university. So yeah. last year it completed 50 years to Dortmund. What is that? So that is a H1. What? So H1. That I've is. I've never seen that. Yeah. Yeah, that's something unique because uh, there are only two H1s in Germany. One is in Düsseldorf Airport, and second is here. Ah. And this is also called as the monorail, which connects, Correct. yeah, north uh, north campus to the south campus. Yeah. Do you have a separate tickets for this? Um, no. no, it it is included in the semester ticket. <laughs> So 
So since it's Sunday today, that's why you'll not see anyone on the campus. Also, because of Corona, we're not sure until when the whole uh, campus will be available for students to come here freely. There are discussions going around different universities whether to go with hybrid method or whether to go fully with online until government approves everything to be operated at its full speed. But for us, for huh? next semester, it's hybrid. Okay. Yeah, it's hybrid. So they have decided they have mailed us mm -hmm. it will be a hybrid semester. Mm -hmm. So some online, some offline. Okay. Where is the main building? Yeah, so this is the famous main building. So what is this building? Yeah, this is a uh, university bibliotheque. Uh, we say it like library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a multi-story building. And uh, down on the ground floor, there are some book cells. When was the last time you visited library? Yeah, it was like in the last semester because this semester it was due to Corona, everything was stopped. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a long back, six months ago. But you have access to the online library, right? Yeah, of course, uh, we have access to the online library. So it's not that we will be gonna but yeah still we miss the physical place because true, it, true. it was to be very uh, happening so. Mm. okay so that's where the library is and right opposite to the library there is also a H barn uh, the train what we showed the and this is uh, this is cafeteria right Mensa yeah, this is yeah. Mensa uh -huh. so you get a very nice food in affordable prices here so around 2.5 euros and there are also two cafes here so you just want to grab quick sandwich or cup of coffee something and come here and yeah there are also like a student and work office here and there is also one information point where mm -hmm. you can ask anything about the university and anything you want in this this is where of course you eat your food but there are also other offices right here at one common spot which is to get your insurance done um, also if you're someone who's looking for accommodation this is where student and work offices right yeah correct did you do you stay in a student in work or uh, apartments or do you stay outside no currently i'm uh, staying outside but soon I'm, i'll be moving with the student and work accommodation so we were upstairs basically now we came here you can remember the address if you're looking for this address to come you can put directly this in the google map and uh, yeah they have university dining services which we showed you upstairs right uh, and then student financial services uh, Bafog Bafog is there there is student housing services there central administration is also right so here where are we going now we are going to uh, IBZ which is international office okay. so it's the first day you will be surely there so what building is this yeah it's uh, ML figure 61 mm -hmm. it is the place uh, for the international students to get enrolled themselves and uh, you took uh, everyone come here with the original documents and zero the office international office they will check your documents and then uh, you will get a mail i'm sure this is also for whether you're international or a student any student yeah yeah they're it's, supposed it's to for, come and yeah, enroll here right correct. so when you arrive here for the first day this is the building you come here uh, enrollment procedures is in a very layman's term is to carry all your original documents come here show them all the documents they'll cross verify and then they'll hand over matriculation number yeah. to you right that's a certificate basically a document a piece of document which says that you are officially a student in this university and in this country what about student ID card yeah so after the enrollment you will get a matriculation certificate mm -hmm. where the matriculation number will be there and then you'll get it by post and then you just need to go to university uh, library you need to show the letter and then you'll get a unicard after after a week yeah wait so matriculation certificate you get it in post post yeah by post okay because so you don't get it immediately no 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 oh, okay 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 so you the post will arrive take that to the library and this is how you get your student id card yeah yeah but make sure your name is on the post yeah 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 i mean that's <laughs> a different topic yeah, altogether <laughs> Where you stay, uh, there is a mailbox with your proper name as per passport and the way you have given to the university. Yes. Let's move. We, we showed you this is where uh, you get your enrollment process done and right next to that there is something called as IBZ. What is this? Yeah, so this is a building, it's a hall. So we had a welcome week here. So they welcome you to the university and they explain everything all about the university, its history. And there are some nice programs here like dancing and yeah, so okay yeah. you 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 both came here first day yeah right yeah. here we okay. came here for the orientation program uh -huh. yeah okay so all okay. event was just here in this right. building 
but there is no classroom sessions inside no no no, 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 no this is totally this is just a hall yeah. Yeah, for just events hall and events yeah. oh, okay, and okay after orientation like we had some erasmus programs also here okay so mm-hmm. yeah this is the uh, faculty of physics it can it includes physics and electro electronics two branches are there okay all right so we just took a break to discuss when you told in the beginning that the waiting time period to get accommodation yeah is at least one or two semesters minimum yeah. then at least i'm looking at my budget for the first 6 months to a one year right. is going to be a bit higher right yeah so what is the uh, cost of living for you guys so the overall cost per month is around 650 it depends on person to person yep. but it's on average it's 650 to 600 yeah so every month uh, you can still dispense 850 euro from your blocked account right yeah so you're still saving 100 150 yeah, 150 euros. euros per month we are saving yeah but like what is the breakdown of this uh, for the break breakdown i would say like 300 and 350 the standard ra- uh, rank for p- per month uh-huh. and then 106 to 107 is for the health insurance uh-huh. and on an average uh, 100 euros for the food grocery Mm-hmm. and you can add a little bit of uh, miscellaneous cost uh, like 50 euros so overall it it would be fit in your block accounts uh, budget so right. over it never crosses that first uh, row right no. yeah. yeah so everything what is in green belongs to Technical University of Dortmund. Dortmund. Yeah. Everything what belongs to Orange. Orange. Fuck option. This is FH Dortmund. Yeah. Uh, and, and this is the North Campus. Right. And this is South Campus. So there's a edge band which connects two campuses. And yeah, so here you have all the Hochschule Sport. So you have football ground, badminton ground, and everything. And yeah, so this is our campus. Where did, uh, we came out of S Bahn, right? Where was that? So S Bahn was here. Uh huh. So you need, just need to yeah uh, take. You can really take a H H Bahn from here and go to the South Campus. Uh-huh. And this H Bahn also connects Old Campus. So like you can see the route. Uh huh. So uh-huh. it connects Old Campus. Right, right, right. And from this you can go to North Campus. Uh huh. And this is South Campus here. so this is the uh, seminar cupboard where all the classes uh, are held in this uh, seminar hall you can see it from here mm-hmm. and it can accommodate around 150 to 200 people at a time wow okay when was the last time you attended attended a class here yeah that was also the 6 months ago because this semester was uh, online mm-hmm. so After showing the uh, other buildings, we have reached uh, at a very important building. What I've been to, Delta Building. We explain the technicalities and yeah. what, why is this is important. Yeah, so this is a Delta facility in the university. So we are the only university in the world which produces synchrotron radiation. So basically, the electrons are accelerated to the speed of light here, and it is very big. So it is uh, of the size of football field, and then it is used for research and uh, industrial purposes. if you were to name some dormitories around the campus the north campus can you name some if you know yeah sure uh, one of the nearest one is the fogelsport weg which okay. is just 400 uh, meters away from the north campus okay. and there are two more which is meitner weg and emil fig emil figerstrasse uh, both of them are around 1 or 1.1 km away and there is one more uh ostenberg strasse that is also the same distance like 1 1.1 km away from here right right all right also very important point i mean having an opportunity to earn money while you're studying as a part time job always keeps your motivation high and it gives you financial freedom yes right if you were to give me an impression about how is the situation in dortmund with part time jobs yeah What so it? basically it's very big city so uh-huh. we have different kinds of jobs so without german requirement you can easily get job in mcdonald's burger king 
Decathlon, Lieferando. So yeah, so you can easily get jobs and you can earn around 10 euros per hour there. At least? At least 10 euros per hour. Any job? Any job, yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you were to give me like a, you know, an estimation how much I can take home. We are allowed to work 20 hours per week yeah. during the semester. From that calculation with 10 euros per hour, you can easily take like 600 to 700. That also depends on the hourly wages you are getting. Right, right, right. See, on a broader term, what is also important is while we are discussing this topic is if the university or the course is keeping you busy, yeah. then trust me, you can't help it. That's the primary goal number one, right? Of yeah. your whole point of coming to Germany. So always have a backup, financial backup. Don't be totally, totally dependent on this, I would say. But yeah, there is there is an opportunity, what I see. Yeah. So I would like to add one point here. You mm -hmm. can also do heavy jobs here or you can uh, take a work student contract so you can work in your field you can uh, like theoretically get a knowledge from your university and apply it to the German company so it will also right. be useful for your CV and your further job applications right right yeah. very important point because see not to forget the visa what you have got it has an end date to it and the whole point of coming to Germany as I said was education so try to invest that time into something which will really get not just money but also a value on your resume which will enhance the shelf life of your career here in this country um, what i also i mean you were also saying that uh, there are total of four or five courses which are only in english yes 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 yeah. which ones are there so the international courses are the first is masters in manufacturing technology which i'm doing mm -hmm. the second one is process system engineering pse so it's regarding chemical and then third one is data science which is afforded by a mathematical department here mm -hmm. and the uh, fourth one is uh, automation, and, automation and, robotics. and robotics which is offered by me mechanical department so total four courses total yeah. four courses yeah purely in english purely in english purely in english yeah